Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. I don't know about you, but I feel strongly that we have to enjoy this summer. So let's go and make and cover up. This is the beautiful fabric I chose. It's kind of translucent and it has the flowers. I love it. And uh, here you go, the design, the flats and everything. And we have a PDF with everything to make it easier for you. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut two pieces of material, 37 inches and a half by 44. If your fabric comes 44 inches wide, then it's just 37 inches and a half and you use the whole material. But in my case, my fabric came 60 inches wide. To make my job easier, what I'm gonna do, I will fold it to make sure both strands are together. And then I will iron the top part that way it will be easier for me to mark the material and to cut it straight with the straight angles. Now that it's all iron, I can measure my 37 inches and 22 inches wide. In the 22 inches, I will fold it because I'm cutting half and half to make it double. And then I have 37 and a half by 22 and I will cut it. So these are my two panels, 37 inches and a half by 44. You need two meters and a half if the material is 44 inches wide or just two meter if it's 60 inches. Now that I have it cut it, I will just cut the edges where they are folded and to separate the two pieces. After I have the two pieces together, then I will mark the front with a pin because this material is very difficult to know what is the wrong side and what is the right side. Now I'm gonna make the collar. I will start with the back and I mark three quarter inch and then I mark five inches. I will do right angle just to make sure that it won't be a point and then I will use my curve to make a little curve for the collar. And you can use a plate if you don't have that kind of ruler, it's okay. This is the illustration of what you have to do. Next step, I will cut the collar at the front and for that I need seven inches and a half deep and five inches wide. You can make it deeper or less deeper. In that case, I will make a mock-up V because I will make a little curve anyways because it's easier to sew. I found that the straight B, but you can do a straight B or you can do completely rounded, which is the easiest way. So this is the graphic of what you need to do. After that, now I will put my two materials together and then I will join for what will be the shoulders. And before sewing, I will mark 14 inches and a half, like a line in the center at 14 inches and one quarter from the top. And I will go and I will leave seven inches and one quarter until the extreme so the line won't be complete. And I will show you this graphic so for you to see better what I'm saying. I'm marking my lines at the front and at the back. And then when the lines are all marked, I can proceed and sew my shoulders. For the shoulders, I will make a French seam. And for that, I will sew the first part and then I will cut the excess of material. And before finishing, I will go to the other shoulder and sew the second part and then I will cut the excess of the material. And then I will go and iron this. I will try to iron first to make it straight and then I will iron it open and then I will sew it to the other side. Now that is iron, I don't need my pins because I won't get confused again about what is the front. As you can see, this material is a little bit difficult, doesn't take the iron so well, but I am very patient and I am ironing it very well. And now I will go ahead and then my sewing machine, I will finish the French seam at the shoulders. After I have my shoulders done, then it's the turn to finish all the sides. So this is what I have now, and I will go ahead and do the hems all around. For that, I will use my band roll. You know how I love my band roll technique. I will use my quarter inch, and then I will make my hem. And uh, you know the drill. I have made a video explaining how to use it. So I'm just going a little fast here, but uh, there is a whole video explaining that. 
I saw the first part and then I turn and I'm going to sew the second part. And then after I finish to sew, comes the first and nice part. Mm, satisfying, huh? And look at how well this hem look. This is fantastic. I love it. I'm going to the other side and um, I will do exactly the same. So turn, sew, and rip out the band roll. And look at this graphic I'm showing you, the two seams I already did. Now I'm going to do the hem at the bottom and I will show you, just in case you don't have the band roll, what to do. You can fold the material at one quarter inch and then you are going to sew it in the edge, you see, like this. And then you are going to fold it again and then you will sew in the right place. That will give you a very nice hem too, very beautiful. Just in case you don't have the one roll, is the way to go. But if you really are good and you are in a rush or whatever, you wanted to do it just one step, you just fold, fold twice and you will have your hem. This is not bad, right? So I use three ways to do the same kind of hem. The graphic is showing you what we did. Now we are going to proceed to make the collar and for the collar we will need to finish it with the bias. So we already have done in other videos how to make a bias tape. So I'm doing it very fast here. I took a square of material, cut it diagonally, sew the grain with the grain together and then mark lines to the width that I am looking for and then sew back like a one tube leaving one extremity so I can start cutting and then I will cut 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 and I will have a long bias but what I didn't explain you to you is how to fold it so what I'm gonna do I will put pins this way in my ironing board and then I will start folding and sewing and then this is the the first part is the most difficult but after that you just pull pull it just goes by itself as you can see so I will iron everything and um, I will have my whole tape to sew when I finish then I can fold it and then remember fold one piece a little bit smaller than the other and if you don't want to use that you can use these little tools these are very very nice to use you just put a little bit of the piece in one extreme and i start pulling it and as you can see it folded by itself and it's really really easy to do it this way so if you can get those tools your job will be easier your life will be easier to be honest i'm used to do it with my pins so you know i seldom use it i barely use it so what I'm doing, I'm cutting, smoothing out the corners in my collar and then I will make a stay stitch before putting my bias. As you can see, when I start sewing my bias, I am leaving a little bit of the space without sewing in the extreme. And then in the center of my point, I will mark it and then I will go sew, lift the foot, pivot, and then keep sewing that's very important to do it well when i finish almost finished then i have the two materials together and then what i'm do gonna do is measure it where i need to cut it and then i go you see the lines of the grain i go with the line of the grain and then i will sew these two extreme and look at that how i put it you know I put it together where I will start sewing and then now it's done and I can finish sew it to the collar. And then that was the first part that I sew and then I will do the second part. I will fold it, fold it and then I will make my top stitch all the way around and then when I finish, you will see, you will notice that the color where the B is, is not really good. But what we do there, we will make a straight line. And here you go. You see, now it looks good. 
So this is a graphic with the next step, which is the, the bias that we just need. Now we are going to sew the elastic. For that, I use the thread elastic, and then I will thread my bobbin. I will be careful to not pull in too much while I'm threading it. I do the threading by hand, and I try to go very straight. Now I will put my bobbin inside the bobbin case, and I will loosen up the tension. That's very important because I don't want the elastic to really do like a string job. I want the elastic a little bit loose. So I'm feeling it. I think it's okay. I put it in my machine, put it down. And what I'm going to do where I did the mark before, do you remember? I will make a top stitch straight. I will set my machine in a long a stitch and I will go completely straight. I'm making sure that the material is straight and well because it's very important. When I reach the end, I lift my foot, pivot the material, make two stitches, pivot again and going back and do another stitch at one quarter inch distance. When I finish, I do the same and that will be my third row and then when i finish this one i will go and do my last one i have to be honest not everybody do it like that they just finish each row but i prefer to do it this way because in that case i just have two ends that i will just knot it at the end and i feel like that way is more secured now I will do the same at the back, exactly the same. Secure again my only two thread that I had and my rope is almost done. This is the graphic showing the elastic. So my last step is to sew the sides. For that I am pinning so I don't move anything. I will put back my regular thread in my bobbin and I will just go ahead and do the stitch. That way the stitch will be a straight stitch down at six and three quarter inches. I put a magnet just to be sure that I'm doing it straight and I will leave five inches and a half open slit for more movement. I will do the same at the other side and my cover up is all done completely. This is the graphic of the stitches. You can go straight down or you can leave the five inches and a half as I did. And here you go, guys. It's a really nice. I hope that you like it. I upload a free PDF for you with the graphic instructions so it will be easier for you to understand in case that you want to do it. It's a really fast job. You can do it in one day. And I don't want to say this one size fit all, but you see, here you go. I am much bigger than the mannequin and we both can wear it i hope that you like this video please don't forget to subscribe share likes bye